A layer style is simply one or more layer effects, as well as blending options that apply to a layer. Master and layer styles can definitely make a huge difference in Photoshop. Drop shadow layer style is definitely the most commonly used one. Of course, there are many applications of drop shadow layer style. Today I will show to you two drop shadow methods that I often use. For example, here I have an image of my desktop. I want to create some text and layout on the desktop here. And I want these text and layout to be as close to reality as possible and blend into the image the most. First, double click the text layer to create a drop shadow layer style. Among the top options of drop shadow, you can adjust some options such as blend mode, opacity, angle, distance, spread and size. If you already have some experience with Photoshop, adjusting these options should be a piece of cake. In order to create a drop shadow that is close to reality, you can still refer to these techniques. First, be sure to adjust the angle of the drop shadow to be consistent with the angle of the light source of the image. Second, try to avoid using a pure black drop shadow. For example, here I used a dark brown drop shadow as a reference. Third, adjustment of drop shadow's opacity, angle, distance, spread, and size can be done by referring to the shadows of other objects in the image. Try to create the shadow that is the same as the shadow of the object next to it. Finally, because Photoshop drop shadow can only create a single color, and it can only spread the shadow a little in each drop shadow layer style. Take a closer look if you want a more realistic effect. You will find that there should be some darker shadow near the text and some lighter shadows away from the text. Photoshop allows you to create multiple drop shadow layer styles for your layers. You can click the plus icon next to the drop shadow to create another new drop shadow layer style. Adjust the options to make this new drop shadow layer style lighter and a little bit far away. Use the same method to create another drop shadow layer style and make it darker and closer. And if you have checked the Use Global Lights in Angle, you will be able to adjust the angles of these multiple drop shadows at the same time. The drop shadow created in this way will be closer to the real image, will be more natural. If you like, you can also put a gradient overlay layer style to the text and adjust the gradient according to the light source. Using multiple drop shadow plus gradient overlay layer styles can give you a much better final look. Also, you can use drop shadow layer style to create some graphic styles text. How about we try to adjust the drop shadow size to zero and then give it some opacity? By establishing multiple drop shadow layer styles and gradually increasing the distance of each drop shadow, we can create a graphic style with multiple layers of text. Same trick if you try different colors and then different angles. It would also be a very interesting look. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this demonstration can help. I'll leave the PSD file of this project in the description. Feel free to download. And I have already uploaded more tutorial videos about layer style in this playlist. Definitely worth a visit. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll keep uploading.